welcome to my channel in this tutorial I will show you how to use the flatten brush we have here the tool panel or the toolbar you can select the tool that you want we have here the flatten brush it's selected now let's use it to make the make the flatten effect hold on drag we can't see an effect over here why because we have a flat surface so you should go over here to select the draw brush draw on this surface to make for example this effect to inflate also select the draw sharp brush make different effects uh, for example clay strips brush so let's activate the activate the flatten brush using the shortcut for example shift t it's activated now as you can see here so let's uh, define what can this brush do the flatten brush determines an area plane located by default at the average height above or below the vertices within the brush area. The vertices are then pulled towards this plane. So by applying this effect, hold and drag, for example, on this surface over here, here the flat surface doesn't exist because we should apply the effect to see it clearly if that is compatible with this surface for example we have here uh, this surface is not flat so let's apply the effect and you can see efficiently that the effect is applied now also in here we can see the effect is applied simultaneously also for here but we can see the difference between the smooth brush and the flatten brush is not the same we can also make uh, a flat surface but also smooth in the same time but we can make also uh, a smooth uh, space a smooth uh, surface and not flat it's curved also, the vertices are then pulled towards this plane, as you can see here. You can apply the effect by yourself and verify that. The inverse of the flatten brush is the contrast brush which pushes vertices up or down away from the brush plane. Thanks for watching.